Hey guys, this is Brian Mouts. I run TurfMechanic.com. Today we're going to be talking about liquid aeration, getting the timing right. On this channel, I've got a number of videos about aeration, about core aeration, mechanical and manual. I've also got some videos where I explain why we use uh, liquid aeration. Uh, today I want to talk about the timing of when we do it. I've alluded to this in previous videos that the timing matters and, uh, and I want to explain to you why this is the right time for me. You're going to have to figure out the best time for you based on everything I have to say right here. All right, just to get this out of the way, the timing is never right on a windy day because we're putting down a liquid product. We spray it right now at this exact second. There's almost no wind, but most of the day today, I've had a good light breeze going maybe about five to 10 miles an hour. It's harder to put this stuff down when there's a wind. So uh, pick a day that's pretty calm. Today, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put this stuff down because of the wind. I might have to wait till tomorrow, but I'm gonna prepare. I've prepared the lawn, I've cut the whole thing, I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It's not necessary, but it certainly does help. When it comes to actually choosing the right time to apply liquid aeration products, the best time truly to do it is after you have core aerated. Now here on my lawn, I did some manual core aeration over here and the whole rest of the yard, we ran a mechanical core aerator over it about three and a half weeks ago. So I've got solid core aeration. The reason for that is because when we put the liquid core, uh, the liquid aerate products down, if we're putting it straight onto soil that has no cores, no holes plug, uh, poked into it, um, the liquid products are going to have a hard time getting below the top layer, like the uppermost layer of the topsoil. Now they certainly will, especially if we're doing it every three to four weeks over the course of a whole season, but you're going to have a much better effect uh, loosening the soil deep in the ground if you take the time to do a core aeration before you start applying. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this on the lawn. It's going to go down. We'll end up getting it watered in later on when the irrigation turns on. The aerate product is actually going to be able to travel further into the ground right off the bat. Now, of course, the whole point of this is to loosen the soil up. Now, there are some debates as to how this happens. It's a little bit mysterious, but what is a fact of the matter is that it does work. It does actually loosen up the soil and make it less hard. So if you are involved in like the lawn care community at all, you've probably heard of John Perry. John Perry runs uh, the Green County Fertilizer Company, which makes this product. This is Air 8. Uh, this is a product that I own and I have used. Um, I have also said on this channel that uh, I like this product quite a bit because it includes a sea kelp variety in there that's going to stimulate root growth. This also includes just a touch of iron, which is just a nice little add-on. This product ingredients are a little bit more mysterious because they don't say so much about what goes into the product. It's a good product, however, and it's the one that I'm going to be using either later today on a calm part of the day or tomorrow when the wind is gone. The reason for that is because I want to push root growth into my lawn. I would rather have a little bit of that sea kelp. But the point here is I'm planning on putting this down in about a week's time. This is uh, this is basically it's like just like a concentrated amount of cytokinins. That's the root growth hormone that is in kelp extract or seaweed extract. So this product contains a little bit of that uh, kelp extract. So it's going to have some cytokinins in it, but I'm going to be putting down a, a potent mix of it with this product. So I'm not going to be using this one today. This one is what I am going to be using because it doesn't contain it, or at least it doesn't show it on the label. Now, like I mentioned, John Perry, his company has sanctioned like a university study that has shown what these products do to the lawn uh, in uh, controlled environments. And it's clear that when you put down this product, your soil is going to uh, not be quite as hard for the whole rest of the season. It's gonna be easier for water and nutrients to penetrate deep. And mostly the hardness factor of the soil is what puts stress on root systems. So if we want our roots to grow deep and substantial and wide and thick and be as robust as possible, we want the soil to not be hard. Now, this is just one part of my root development strategy. I've got a guide over a course really over on my website, which I'll link to down below that you can take a look because there's a whole bunch of various things that we can do 
to stimulate root development, root growth, and make our root system as healthy as possible. This is just one tool in the shed. This, the cytokinins in this, or the, cyto, the smaller amount of cytokinins in this, or even the smaller amount of cytokinins in the next RGS line, uh, all of those are gonna push root development. Uh, this is my plan of attack for this time of year. Timing, you wanna do this after core aeration because it's going to supercharge the results. You will get good results if you don't choose to aerate, uh, but your results, in my case, are gonna be dramatic simply because I have already core aerated. You also wanna make sure that if you're doing all of these things, you core aerate before you put down uh, weed pre-emergence on the ground. The reason for that is if we put weed pre-emergence down and then a few weeks later we core aerate, we're kind of gonna disturb the, uh, uh, the chemical barrier that stops weeds. So the order here is core aerate, then weed pre-emergent, and then we can start our liquid aeration products so that we can benefit from the cores that we have already pulled in the lawn. Now, I'm gonna be using this pump sprayer. Um, I usually use a uh, battery powered pump sprayer, but my battery kind of stopped working on me. I don't know why, but it did. So I got a little pump attachment to the top. So I'm gonna load all this stuff up. If I feel like I've got a windless time of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Otherwise it might have to go down tomorrow on the 18th, uh, 18th of April. Um, this is a warm time of year for us. We're a little bit warmer than normal. Um, it's okay to put down liquid pre-emergence when it's a little bit colder in the early part of the spring, but honestly, it is a little bit better if, if you wait into that mid-spring time frame. Right now, I'm gonna call this mid-spring because we're on the back end of April. Anyway, with that, let's mix up some product and hopefully I'll get to apply it because right now we got a little bit of break in the wind. 